To weather rock, reagents are required, especially those that contain carbon, shown in yellow. For example, small amounts of CO2 are found in rainwater as carbonic acid. In much larger quantities, CO2 is produced by plant roots and by microbes. Thus, CO2, carbonic acid and organic carbon accumulate in the top layer of soil. Through the large fractures, they reach great depth, dissolved in water. A 10 mm microscope image of the rock shows how the many small yellow dots, the carbon, flow through the fine fractures. Zooming in even closer, we see how the carbon and water dissolve minerals, like the feldspar. Thus, the pores in the rock get progressively larger. The water in the pores becomes gradually enriched in rock-forming elements, for example silicon, that are dissolved from the mineral. Soon the solution cannot hold any more silicon. The silicon precipitates and new, completely different minerals form, for example clay minerals. These, however, take up more space. This creates fine fractures through which water with carbon can penetrate further and the weathering begins again.